my story is really um, began last summer and it continues. And this is just a brief little snippet because it's really the beginning of a story. And so last summer, um, I'm walking in the summer heat here in Central California in the poor part of town, making Jesus known, doing DMM. And I said, Lord, look at me. I'm doing Pipsy. You got to be pretty excited about what I'm doing. And he said, well, first of all, I could do that with anybody. So don't get too excited about yourself. But secondly, um, you're really just doing P. You're not doing I, S, P, Y. You're not doing the internationals. You're not doing prisoners. You're not doing sick. You're not doing youth. And so that really caused me to think, you know what? I, I am just doing P. I need to get on it and, and be more complete in this. And so I've been intentionally going after internationals, prisoners, um, the youth, and specifically this story is just about the sick. And so I just thought, well, what better way to connect with the sick than through the hospitals. So I called the three hospitals in our community um, and got in touch with one, got in touch with a chaplain at one and began what turned out to be a multi-step process, vetting, background checks, all day um, orientations, multiple TB tests, vaccinations. I mean, just, uh, you know, basically everything that a hospital employee has to go through, even though I was just really being okay to be a volunteer chaplain. But I thought, okay, Lord, it, I can see the chaplain had said, I can hardly get anybody to volunteer to do this. And I said, I think I know why. This is, there aren't many people who go through this process just to kind of walk the hallways and pray with the sick people, that kind of thing. But in the multiple steps that I went through, we had several interactions. And each time I would kind of cast the DM, a bit of the DMM vision with him to the point where he finally understood <clears throat> that what I'm looking to do is not fill a time slot and walk the hallways and just pray with people, but to use it <clears throat> as a means to a greater end. And that is making disciples who make disciples um, and principally among patients, their families and the staff. And so <clears throat> um, kind of had a breakthrough moment a couple of weeks ago. Um, I was finally got my ID, got my uh, badge and, and all that sort of thing. And I was approved. And he said, when would you like to start? I said, you know, I'd like to meet with you and just kind of really go through what I'm seeing this really be all about. And he said, that would be great. So we sat down, cast vision with him. And it turns out that he is really interested in being discipled himself. And I said that the best thing would be for me to disciple you and then kind of back out. And I encourage coach you from the outside and you disciple staff and patients and families. And so um, quick update as he was excited about that. Um, this first stage for us is that they we train them, teach them how to do a DBS. And then they do that four times with one person they know just to get comfortable and confident in using it. Then they move from there and start their first discovery group. So I said, who's the first person that you think you'd like to start with this with? And he said, my 14 year old son, he's just coming alive spiritually to the Lord, wants to know more. And I was going to get a book that we were going to go through, but I like this DBS method better. And so the cool part is he is now doing um, in the process of doing DBS with his 14 year old son. Um, and all this as a result of just letting God lead me in that process. So it was clear to me in our last conversation that he was really interested in being discipled himself. And especially without just overtly saying it, just really hungry and interested in the friendship component of disciple making that goes along with it. I, I don't know that he has any guy friends that can really love him man to man. Uh, believer to believer. And so I'm um, just looking forward to that. Just excited to see how that's unfolding. So yeah, um, that's the story with the S part of Pipsy for me.